Hello everyone, it's time for our Bible story and activity again. Now in our Bible story that we're going to hear today, it comes from the Gospel of Mark. We're going to hear Jesus meeting a very rich person. And the rich person asks Jesus, what can I do to get into heaven? What can I do to make sure I get into heaven? And Jesus says you need to give everything away all of your money give everything away because he says it's easier i'm going to show you some pictures here for a camel to go through the eye of a needle than it is for a rich person to go into heaven and that's a bit difficult to hear isn't it very strange thing so it's easier for a camel to go through the eye of a needle than it is for a rich person to get into heaven. And when we do our activity, we're going to think a little bit about this story. We're gonna think about the rich man giving things away and why he might be doing that. If he's giving things away, what is he making space for? So let's listen to our Bible story and then we'll do our activity. Hear the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. As Jesus was setting out on a journey, a man ran up and knelt before him and asked him, Good teacher, what must I do to inherit eternal life? Jesus said to him, You know the commandments. You should keep them. The man said to him, Teacher, I have kept these commandments since my youth. Jesus said to him, You lack one thing. Go sell what you own and give the money to the poor and you will have treasure in heaven. Then come, follow me. When the man heard this, he was shocked and went away sad because he had many possessions. Then Jesus looked around and said to his disciples, how hard it will be for those who have wealth to enter the kingdom of God. And the disciples were confused. But Jesus said to them, children, how hard it is to enter the kingdom of God. It is easier for a camel to go through the eye of a needle than for someone who is rich to enter the kingdom of God. They were shocked and said to one another, how can anyone enter God's kingdom? Jesus said, remember with God, anything is possible. Peter said to him, we have left everything to follow you. Jesus replied, truly I tell you, anyone who gives up things for me will be given a hundred times more. Those who appear to be important in the world are not important in God's kingdom. Many who are first will be last, and the last will be first. This is the gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Christ. So for our activity today, we're going to need some paper and some pens or pencils, whichever you like. And we're going to think a little bit about what Jesus meant when he was talking to the rich man because when he said to the rich man you have to give away everything you have and follow me the rich man wasn't very impressed was he he was thinking too much about all of the things that he had but jesus wants us to make room for god's love and to make room for other people and he said at the very end that the first will be last and the last will be first. And we thought about that before, didn't we? About how we need to put other people first. And maybe if all you're doing is thinking about the things that you have, if you're very rich and you're thinking just about your money, you're not thinking about other people and you're not thinking about God. So we're going to think a little bit about what are the things that fill our hearts. So on my piece of paper, I'm going to draw a big heart. There we are. And in my heart, I'm going to draw or write all of the things that fill my heart. Things I like, things I love. So my first thing I'm going to draw, you won't be surprised. Uh, I'm going to draw very badly. A picture of my dog Wilson. There he is. 
he fills my heart. I love Wilson. So he can go in my heart. He's got little different bits of colour on him. So I'm going to do him in little different colours. Wilson's somebody that fills my heart. So I've drawn Wilson. And then I'm going to put one, two, three, four people. I've drawn my mum. There, I've drawn a stick person. I'm not very good at drawing people. And my dad and my brother and Simon because my family are people that fill my heart they're people that I love and some things that fill our heart are more important than others I'm going to draw something else that I love now. I'm going to draw. Colour that in a bit. Some chocolate. Because I do love chocolate. I've written dairy milk on mine. I like a dairy milk bar. And that's something else I love, but I don't love it in the same way that I love my family. And what you need to do is keep filling your heart with all of the things that you love, the things that are important to you. But what we need to do is make sure we leave gaps. We need to leave some spaces. So don't fill it up entirely so that there's nothing else you can see we need to leave some spaces because while we have lots of things that are important to us we need to make sure that we're doing what jesus was telling the rich man we need to do we need to make sure that we're leaving space in our heart for god so that's what we're going to do this week and you can draw all right but make sure you leave some spaces and maybe we could think about if our heart's a bit too full what is it that we could give up but i might be able to give up chocolate to make some more space in my heart for god so i hope you enjoy doing that activity and i hope to see some of you very soon bye everyone bye